Now we are going to talk about class four, which is treatment of tachyarrhythmias. All right. Earlier we talked about class two, which was focusing on beta blockers, and now we are discussing class four. Right? Okay. Cc, class four. Where are you, class four? Here. Calcium channel blockers. Where is calcium affecting? Calcium is here. Calcium is here. Right? Just imagine calcium is being blocked. What will happen? Will it go that high? Will it go that steeper? Because if you remember, in our uh, first lesson, I talked to you that why do we have this plateau? We have this plateau because of the reason that potassium is getting out, calcium is getting inside, and their uh, amount of ions getting in and getting out is being stabilized because of which we have this plateau, right? But you see, if I block the calcium, so it won't go that high, and it won't go that the that you know plateau thing. Now let's read about it. You see, if you look here, class four, it is it is pointing it downwards. If I were you, I would have taken a huge chart paper. Uh, first of all, I would have drawn this thing, all right, and then I would write about in the nook and corners of like here's class one, sodium blockers. So here I would write something important about it. Here I would write something important about other, you know, parts. So that's how I would have studied if I were you. Anyways, so class four drugs selectively block L-type calcium channel. Um, I, I do remember that I talked to you and I even displayed that diagram for you that what kind of calcium channels are there and on the heart L type of calcium channels are there, right? Okay, these drugs prolong nodal conduction and effective refractory period and have predominant actions in nodal tissues. Brantel, uh, we already talked about it when we were in the class. So I'm going to talk uh, in, contra, uh, um, in context to the, the heart thing, okay? All right, so Brampel is phenyl alkyl amine that blocks both activated and inactivated slow calcium channels. Tissues that depend on L-type calcium channels are most affected and it has equipotent activity on the AV and SA nodes and in the cardiac and vascular muscle tissues. Although Varampil is excreted primarily by the kidney, dose reduction is necessary in the presence of hepatic disease and in the elderly. Bioavailability following oral administration is about 20%. Much lower doses are required when administered intravenously. Varampil is useful in re-entrant supraventricular tachycardia, and it can also reduce ventricular rate in atrial flutter and fibrillation. Since we have already talked about calcium channel blockers in the class, I'm not going into detail about mechanism, okay? Now, Brampel has negative inotropic action that limits its use in damaged hearts. It can lead to AV block when given in large doses, or in patients with atrial blockage. Brampel can precipitate sinus arrest in disease patients. It causes peripheral vasodilation. The adverse effects, cardiac effects of Brampel include sinus bradycardia, transient asystole, and other arrhythmias may be exacerbated in individuals taking beta adrenal receptor antagonists. This can be reversed by atrophy, beta receptor agonist, or calcium. Brampel should not be used in patients with abnormal conduction circuits, such as Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Now, what is Wolf-Parkinson? This is something new, right? Okay, good. So you see here. First of all, I want you to look here in the on the conduction pathway. Okay, you see it's. 
it's going down there, okay? And then it's coming back here and then there's a circuit, right? So you see, in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and an extra electrical pathway between your heart's upper and lower chamber causes a rapid heartbeat. You see, there, there's a cycle, right? So rapid heartbeat would be there. The condition which is present at birth is fairly rare. The episodes of fast heartbeats usually aren't life threatening, but serious heart problems can occur because of this, all right? Treatment can stop or prevent episodes of fast heartbeats. A catheter-based procedure ablation can permanently correct the heart rhythm problem. You see here, they're saying that a catheter can be in, uh, you know, uh, uh, can be built up, and because of that, um, the entire heart rate can be uh, checked and kept constant. Then we have diltiazem. So similar in effects to Varampal, although it, it is benzothiazepine, it, it affects both cardiac and vascular smooth muscle. Its inotomic effects are less than Varampal. Its inhibitory effects on conduction through AV load make it more useful for certain supraventricular arrhythmia. Thank you so much.